Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, YBP Gang, YBP Nation, YBP Boxing, YBP MMA, YBP Michael. Come at y'all with another video. And today, I'm going to be breaking down Floyd Mayweather versus John Gotti. The third, I think his name is. Yeah, um, no one's really talking about the matchup. No one seems to really care at all, but I care. I don't actually, I'm not even going to lie. I don't even. It's probably going to be the only thing on June 11th is uh when it's taking place there's no ufc anything on june 11 so it'll probably be the only thing on tv so i might i might i might tune in i might tune in um it's always just like a treat to watch floyd may with a cook you know what i mean go in there have fun but if we're being honest like who's who's really like going out of their way to try to watch this fight like if you have something going on like you know even the last fight against um, Aaron Chalmers, um, I I probably say that name. People don't even know. There was at least a little intrigue. His he had a first like a first couple opponents. He, he was supposed to fight a guy like Liam Harrison, a great kickboxer who had like some threat to like beat Floyd. But I mean, I, don't think, I mean this guy John Gotti the third. The whole sell of it is that John Gotti the third is the son of um or the grandson of like a literal gangster, like a like a really like a wanted gangster or something. Um, he was an American gangster and the boss of Gambino crime family in New York City. Notorious. Um, yeah, man. I think he died in jail, like the medical center for jail. So he was like pretty powerful crime boss in America when he was alive from, you know, 1940, 2002. Um, probably like ruled the 60s, 70s, 80s, I'd imagine. Um, but yeah, that, so that's, that's kind of. So at this point, I mean, this fight's just to check off the the bucket list, you know. Mayweather, like, he's beat all the guys. He's beat the beat the Hispanic. He's beat the white guy. He's beat the um, you know, he's beat the the guy everyone thought he'd lose to. The, he's beat the guy. He's been in the brightest moments, the lowest moments. He's been he's fought a really tall guy. He's fought a really short guy. He's fought a a guy with a great chin. You know what I mean? I, I I'm just I'm naming off stuff, but it seems like it's a bucket list fight. It's not, you know. He's fought the the influencer. He's fought the um. Uh, he's fought the MMA superstar, you know what I mean? So now, but he's never fought a gangster or like someone with that type of, uh, lineage to them, um, with that type of, um, history behind them. So John Guy, the third is the closest he'll ever get to, uh, beating a gangster. Literally. That's, that's, I mean, that's a, you know, that's something to add to the bucket list for sure. Um, if we're looking at John Guy, the third, cause I mean, we know everything about Floyd, you know, he's. Uh, guess we can. Ooh, we'll go over him, I guess. But stat. I mean, his height and reach and all this stuff never really mattered, you know, for fights. But we might as well go over. He's forty six at this age now. Um, twenty seven knockouts, fifty fights. Um, nowadays he fights like heavy, like one fifty, one fifty five. You weighed in that? I don't even know. Like, uh. I'm trying to see. They don't even have his like his like exhibition belts on here. But anyways, um, five foot eight, seventy two inch arm reach, um, fighting at lightweight pretty much. Um, lightweight featherweight, I guess that in in MMA terms, so like one forty five, one fifty five, something like that. Um, John Guy the third is five and one in MMA. And I believe he's undefeated in boxing, I think it is. So pretty tough, pretty tough. If you look at it like all in total. Um knocked the guy on the first round for his second fight. And then first fight got a decision. So he's pretty he's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. Um I was gonna go over his stats, like how how does he line up? Like is he gonna be big in there? Not that it's gonna matter, but because when you look at a guy who could, like, possibly beat Floyd, like, he's going to have to be bigger than him, hopefully. Okay, so he's five foot eleven, so he's going to be taller. I'm not really sure about his reach, but taller guy should have a longer reach, right? Theoretically, so. Um, There's not much to really break down. I mean, we kind of know what this is. Like, there's no way. And even if John Guy the Third does somehow upset Mayweather, it doesn't like affect his record or fifty and record. It would just be like, oh, you beat Floyd, that's pretty cool, you know, like, you know, good feather in your cap. But like, no one really cares, really. Like, you know, you, you beat you beat a forty 
what, what how, 46-year-old Floyd Mayweather, good job, you know what I mean, who cares, bro, like, Still, still really good to do. I'm, I'm not, I'm not bashing him. I'm just saying, like, that's the narrative, you know. So, yeah, that's gonna be happening uh, June 11th. In uh, where is that happening? Let's see, uh, Floyd versus Gotti. Gotti the third. It's happening. Where is it taking place? In Florida? No. Oh yeah, in Florida. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's being active, bro, for an old guy. I don't know what this means. Like, is, is Floyd, like, struggling, like, financially? Like, what's going on, man? Oh, now that they got him listed at six foot, man, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but, like, what's going on, man? Is he struggling? Like, what what, what exactly is going on here? I'm not quite sure. Um, Then we got some, like, under on the undercard, we have Jarrell Miller, Big Baby Miller, okay. All exhibition bouts, by the way. On the entire card. None of these are serious fights that affect any of these fighters' records. Um, we have Jahan Ingram versus Ryan Allen. Uh, Jarrell Miller versus Antonio Zepeda. I always love seeing Jarrell Miller fight. Um, Ulysses Diaz versus Kalas Karim. Those names seem familiar. I, I might have seen them fight. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's going to be cool to see Jahan Ingram cook. He's supposed to be like the next. If... Uh, I mean, there's so many Floyd protégés. There's there's Gervonta. There's um, Carmel Moton. There was Devin Haney at one point in time. There was uh, who's the one kid? Um, oh yeah, Jahan Ingram. And then uh, those are the main ones that I can think of. But everyone, I mean, everyone's being compared to Floyd. You know what I mean? Where, you know, a little bit of pizzazz. They have good defense. Jahan Ingram has been dubbed the next Floyd um, by Floyd himself. I know at one point in time. Javante, Javante and Floyd were close at one point in time. I don't know what's the comparisons are there though. You know, with the um, not necessarily fight style because Javante like hits damn hard. You know, a little defensively irresponsible, not the defensive like savvy guy that Floyd was. So their fighting styles aren't the same, but being stars and being able to draw the um, draw the casual fan in and um, put people in seats, like being big show. I mean, you can definitely compare those two. Um, in that regard, uh, I always saw, I mean, people, people like to say, oh, Haney's nothing like Floyd, like, okay, but like, just take away the Loma fight, like, I think there was definitely some similarities, like, Haney wasn't getting touched in some of these fights, man, he wasn't getting felt, um, Loma obviously exposed that, so, but Haney's only getting better, that's besides the point, though, um, maybe with the first is guy, I just want to hop on here and make, like, a quick little video, talk about the fight a little bit um maybe i had some like pictures i don't even know some like floyd floyd and Gotti fighting but um hope y'all like my little commentary on the fight who i think is gonna win it's an exhibition fight uh let's see i don't even know how many rounds it is uh pff, there's like no info on this fight man like at, at all i don't even know let me see uh let's see let's see let's see there's like no info at all uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just a spectacle to see him fight again, man. I think we just got to You really just got to cheer. It's like what, every time LeBron plays, like you don't know. We might have just seen LeBron in his last game. Last game, drop forty against the Nuggets. You you got to take for, yeah. We we, we kind of take for granted the greats that we have. Like you really got to appreciate them, you know. For real, for real, like. It was not too long ago that uh, the Mayweather fought Logan Paul. And then the, the I love the Makuru Asakura fight was the last good Floyd fight I saw. No, because then the last couple ones I've seen were like the um, the Don Moore one was a joke. That was a joke because I was a sparring partner. And the Deji one was absolutely a joke. And then and then he fought um, the Aaron Chalmers guy. Come on. Come on now. That's, come on. Yeah, that I mean, geez. The Deji one was a joke. But then the Aaron Chalmers one, I mean, the guy didn't have a chance, you know. And hell, Deji, Deji put up a better fight than the Aaron Chalmers guy, I think. Um, no offense, but he had nothing to, I don't even know what his selling point was. Like, he was just an MMA fighter, I think. I don't know what, he was just the, the guy to fill in after, like, several pullouts. Um, so, yeah, McCoy Asakura hit Floyd with some nice shots, man. And at 46, 45, bro, he's came back with vengeance, but... 
I'm, I'm trying to find where how many rounds the fight is gonna be i don't know if i can get that it'll probably be if we're just going off like past history it should be like eight rounds right should be let me see uh how many rounds was Aaron Chalmers versus Floyd Mayweather? Oh, uh, eight rounds. Okay. He lasted eight rounds? Oh, he went to a decision. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, the, the, the fight was kind of dead. I'm not going to. Yeah, so it should be an eight-round fight. Um. So, yeah, I think Um. he should knock him out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he probably should knock him out. Like, worse than, worse than, because Deji wasn't, I mean, Deji, honestly, he was a little too tough for his own game. He was taking some really bad shots. Um, and I guess Floyd didn't have the power to really, like, chin him. So he was just kind of getting beat up at some point, so they just stopped the fight. Maybe a little early, but you knew where the fight was going. So it was like, okay, I understand it. Um, and then the Makura, he slept Makuru, man. He slept at Sakura, man. As is was nice. So, I don't know. I mean, John Gotti, I respect it, but John Gotti's not... John Gotti, the third, has to be worse than Makura at Sakura. He has to be. So, there's no way he's better. I mean, this guy's 5-1 in MMA. He hasn't fought the, nearly the same competition as that guy. And that guy landed some good shots on Floyd, gave him some resistance. But once it turned into a dogfight, Floyd knocked him out. You know what I mean? So, it's Floyd's fight to lose. If he wants to play with him for eight rounds, he can. If he wants to just take it slow for eight rounds... It just, um, or if he wants to like get him out of there in like four, press the action, really like make a statement, make it go viral all over, you know, like, oh, 46 year old Floyd Mayweather still got it, you know, yeah, they'll post down ESPN everywhere. So for sure, if he wants to do that, he'll do that. So, hey, man, um, not too many people are going to be tuning in for the fight in general, but you can, you can, you can, you can bet for sure. Like, um, I think a highlight real knockout from, from Floyd's coming uh i i predict round f- round four round three no round four i'll, I'll give him round four he'll play around with him for a little bit and then floyd's gonna finish him he'll really like put it you know gain some buzz and then floyd will fight uh uh floyd will fight what well, yeah what other fight is there for him what what could floyd's next fight be man You know, I'm thinking Nate Diaz was actually a really good option. I, I like the idea of him fighting Nate Diaz at one point. But now Nate Diaz is fighting Jake Paul. So it's like, nah. Okay, if oh, if, if Nate Diaz beats Jake Paul, why not? But I don't know if that's going to happen. It's a possibility, though. It's not out of the question. Um, I mean, nah, probably not. Wouldn't be surprised, though. Nate, Nate, Nate's a really good boxer. He's low-key underrated. He trains like the best guys. He's training. I see, I see him training with Bobby Green. You know, Bobby Green would smoke Jake Paul, man. Jeez, barring like a a crazy like overhand right or something like that. Like, because of course, like Michael Johnson, like if they had headgear on, you know, like probably like when they were going light and sparring, like technicality, like Michael Johnson or like Bobby Green would kill Jake Paul. But like those guys are a little not Bobby. Bobby Green's not chinny. He just got hit by a big puncher. But Michael Johnson. Eh. You know, even Nate Diaz, even though he has, like, the iron chin, man, he's, you know, he's a little older in age. So I, I do worry about Jake Paul, Jake Paul's overhand, right? Like, it's, it landed against Tommy Fury, you know. It was it was a little too little too late, but, you know, but uh, Floyd's next opponent. I, I mean, nowadays, I don't know, because I, I was not expecting John Gotti the third. You know, he should fight, Um, I mean, if he's just trying to check off the bucket list, man, like, why doesn't he fight Clarissa Shields or something like this? Yeah, I think I think Floyd should fight Clarissa Shields. He, or no, he should fight um I, I mean, yeah, why not? You know, cuz everyone was saying Ronda Rousey would beat him. We, I mean, those headlines. You saw I might put that up there. People were saying you would you would lose to Ronda Rousey. He should fight a girl or a woman. If he's just trying to check up or he should fight like because he fought again. He's done everything in the, in a career you could possibly do. So I say fight or fight like a, not a basketball player, like something. He fought the MMA guy. Yeah, I think he should fight a woman. Get him in the ring with Clarissa Shields. Run it. Exhibition. Um, God, bro, I heard someone say, someone said that Clarissa Shields 
No, Clarissa Shields said that she would whoop Roly Romero. Bro, let's let's do it. Clarissa Shields versus Floyd Mayweather exhibition, Abu Dhabi, um, freaking uh, 155 catch weight. We run it right there, bro. Let's really solve it. Like 46 year old Mayweather versus Clarissa Shields in her prime. Let's do it. She just destroyed the one girl, um, in her last fight. Let's do it. I that that's why I want to see Floyd fight. I want to see him fight Clarissa Shields. Uh, woman, woman versus men. Let's see it, bro. And hey, man, I give Clarissa a chance. You know, I, you know what I mean. I, <laughs> hey, man. I mean, uh, hopefully, I don't know how much does Clarissa weigh. Clarissa Shields, uh, weight, um, one sixty five. Really? Does she? Whoa. Hey, man. Does she really weigh one sixty five? That's not her weight class, though, is it? She's not a what is that middleweight? Is she really a? No, yeah, she she fights at 160. Okay. Okay. So that's heavier than Floyd right there, I think. So she's going to be the bigger girl in there. She's probably taller, right? Clarissa. My other option, I think, for Floyd is to fight Amanda Nunes in MMA. I think he should step in the ring. That's an intriguing matchup. That's, what, that's the type of fights he should be taking at this point. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah, man. Uh... What's her dimensions? She's 5'8". So it's, there's the same height. Floyd has a little longer reach. Hey, man, run it, bro. Run it. I'm sure Clarissa would love the chance to, to fight against a guy like um, Floyd Mayweather. That's who Floyd's next fight should be. I think it should be Floyd Mayweather versus Clarissa Shields in his next fight. And then we just run it from there. Uh, after this, after he knocks out John Gotti the third. So leave a like on the video, subscribe. Hopefully y'all tune in. Hopefully I got y'all hype for uh, Floyd Mayweather versus John Gotti the third. Episode 2 of The Ultimate Fighters coming out tonight at 9 o'clock. Y'all tune in for that. Stick around for my episode 2 review once I drop that. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. IVP Michael is out.